What's up, everybody? Rob here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So Janet Yellen appears to have taken some time off of managing the local bingo hall and decided to make some comments. Uh, she possibly or looks very likely that she's going to be the Treasury Secretary. And she wanted to make some comments here. And she talked about all kinds of stuff. She talked about how inflation isn't going up. She talked about how Bitcoin is used in criminal activity. She talked about how um, it would be a good idea to charge taxes on things that you haven't even declared the gain yet. Let's dig right on into this because this is information you need to know as a citizen. If there was a video I posted to watch all the way through, this would be the one because this affects you watching this video in a very dramatic way. If you are an investor in any way, shape, or form, this involves you in a very dramatic way. I'm going to do it the best way I can and just tell it like it is. So before I get into this video, I would really appreciate it. Maybe listen to some of my points, but if you do agree with some of my points, would really appreciate it if you smash that like button, take out some aggression on that like button. If you think that these policies make no sense, take it out on that like button because it will help this video be seen by more people by the YouTube algorithm. Does really, really, really help. I know I say it every video and I know it's super redundant and annoying, but if you hit that like button, really does help. If you would like to be subscribed to this channel, would love to have you in the community. I do live feeds kind of impromptu, but I'm planning to do them once a week. We actually just did a live feed on this exact topic, but I wanted to make a video in addition because this is very useful information for you to know. That being said, the idea that you could print $10 trillion, roughly in that range, $10 trillion, roughly print gold's entire market cap in one year, in 2020, poof pal, poofing all kinds of trillions of dollars into the system, then have interest rates at zero to give out these loans with no reserve needing to be held under fractional reserve banking. And then to say, to say you're an economist, go out publicly and say you don't see inflation going up. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine, you know, a world where inflation wouldn't go up. The Fed actually admitted to inflation going up not very long ago, which is something they don't really want to talk about, but they still said it's probably going up. But then Yellen's going to, after all the things that have been done here, after all the talk of dropping another stimulus check for $2,000, you're going to say inflation's not going up? Interesting, but better yet, better yet, she said Bitcoin is majority, I don't know if she said majority, but she said in a very like wide stance, Bitcoin is used in criminal activity. Now, I'm a precious metals bug just as much as I'm interested in Bitcoin, actually a lot more into precious metals than I am in Bitcoin. But I happen to think that that is completely false, not only because I think that, but because it is statistically false. Uh, there's been numerous studies on Bitcoin that it is less than half a percent of Bitcoin that is used in criminal activity, whereas I can't exactly say the same thing about the dollar. On a percentage basis and percentage and overall basis, the dollar is used in much more criminal activity than it is than Bitcoin is used for criminal activity, mainly because criminals don't want their, their activity documented on a ledger, documented on the blockchain. I can tell you exactly how many Bitcoin are out there to the decimal point in Satoshi's. Can you tell me how many dollars are out there to the penny? Can anybody? Yellen, I'm talking to you. Can you tell me how many dollars are out there to the penny? How many loans have been given out by these banks at 0% interest? Because I can't. I don't know who out there can. So to say that is, is not only statistically incorrect, but it's just, just outright ridiculous. It's outright ridiculous. The next thing Yellen talked about was how she thought it would be a good idea to charge gains taxes on gains you haven't even declared yet. Yeah. So if you had Bitcoin from 3000 and it went to 30000 she wants to take taxes even if you don't sell your Bitcoin. Even if you don't sell your Bitcoin... She thinks it's a good idea 
to take taxes. That to me is blasphemy. I don't know if there's another a better word. I mean, like, I hope that the, what she talked about didn't just go over your head as an American. Um, I hope that this video helps shed some light on it because there's even more points I want to bring up. But the idea that you hold a stock and you haven't sold that stock, that's the reason why that the policy is to not get capital gains taxes if you hold a position longer than a year. That is the reason like 401ks, IRAs, they want that money to be tied up in the stock market so it'll be a hedge against inflation. Though it helps the economy. To, to have your money sitting there. The idea that people would want to leave their money in a stock market that is declaring, that's taking taxes away automatically on your gains is unbelievable. I mean, the 1031 exchange on, on real estate is going to go away. Is that going to mean if your, your house appreciates in value, you start paying taxes? Like how far exactly are we going to go with that Yellen? Did, 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 did somebody in the bingo hall tell you this? It was a good idea. I'm, 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 I'm concerned because it's like a, nails on the chalkboard in my head. I got the OCD thing where I just, uh, I, I can't stop thinking about something like that. Or is it ADD or I don't know. It's, it makes my, my head scramble thinking about these things, but it gets better. It gets better. But really that idea that you can charge taxes on things that haven't been declared as a gain is in my opinion, an attack on cryptocurrency, an attack on Bitcoin. Um, because what I think is being wrapped around Yellen and wrapped around the people in charge of monetary policy is they are starting to realize that people that hold Bitcoin really are holding it. And also, isn't it kind of an insult to all the billionaires talking about Bitcoin? All of these majorly, majorly influential billionaires. You got Chamath Palahapatiya, you got Rao Paul, you got... Michael Saylor, all very, very wealthy individuals, billionaires, talking about Bitcoin. And you're going to call them criminals? These are the people that are, are helping the economy dramatically. These are, you know, job creators. You look at Chamath Palahapatiya. This is somebody that owns a venture capital fund. And you're going to call him a criminal? Like, really, really think about that, Yellen. It's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty embarrassing to say that actually with all of the the Wall Street money going into Bitcoin, all the institutional buyers going into Bitcoin, PayPal accepting Bitcoin, Cash App accepting Bitcoin, you have all these exchanges. You're scared. You're scared because you know, just like I know, that the dollar is looking like it's going to collapse. You want to do everything in your power to try to pretend like it's not going to collapse. And you want to try to enact policies. It's like a kid that got caught stealing that doesn't want to own up to it. You want to keep kicking that can down the road. You don't want to own up to the things that you helped cause this problem. You and all your banker buddies caused this problem that we had to bail out, by the way, in 2007. The bankers that gave the bad loans on the properties, they went bankrupt, Bank of America, and we, the citizens, had to bail them out with our money because they gave bad loans that actually diluted our currency that then we used our currency to bail the person out that diluted that currency. These are people, these are Yellen's friends. So the things that Yellen said is not only factually incorrect, but also morally incorrect. And I don't want to be like just, I see a lot of YouTubers that are kind of dancing around this subject with Yellen I want to just go head on into this because this is ridiculous. This is just outright ridiculous. To say billionaires that are jumping in all this institutional money are criminals. Embarrassing to say something like that? Pretty embarrassing. I think the people that are in, you know, Yellen's pocket, you know, putting money in her pockets or, or backing her up. This is just my opinion, by the way, and this is just financial education based on my opinion uh, disclaimer, but the people that I think are in her pockets are not going to be very happy about the idea of paying gains on positions they haven't even taken the gain on. Matter of fact, why would you even be in the stock market? Why wouldn't you put all your money into like a business or something like that if they're just going to make you pay gains without even declaring your gain yet? Like, 
I couldn't even imagine saying that publicly when I'm going to be the Treasury Secretary. Yeah. Um, and then to say that inflation is not going to go up and the dollar is going to be strong. It's like, do you, what blinders are on right now? Like, do they, can you, like, are they this tight? Like, how tight are the blinders on in front of her? I, I'm, like I said, I, I think they found her in a bingo hall and she had been hanging out in a bingo hall for a very long time. Hadn't looked at Bitcoin for a while and then realized how scary it is to the fiat currency system and decided to just go public and say these crazy things. Um, do I think Yellen and her comments is going to be dropping the price of Bitcoin? In the near term, maybe. In the near term, maybe it provides an opportunity. But I think what would backfire is when these CBDCs are coming out, which is basically central banks that are trying to be in digital currency. Keep in mind, with a CBDC, they can announce secondaries. They can dilute that digital currency. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is not a network in place that pays the network in a decentralized manner for their work. There isn't proof of work. There isn't that type of thing with the CD CBDC. It's not decentralized. It's basically just fiat currency digital. It, it's, it's sickening. The idea that, that Bitcoin would be stopped by one entity is incorrect. The only way to get Bitcoin would be if every single government worldwide, every single country worldwide got together and said we are outlawing Bitcoin as a whole. I don't see that happening, do you? So I see that kind of backfiring and I would see not only that backfiring, but people wanting to get out of the dollar as fast as possible. Like literally people trying to jump ship. That's what I would imagine. You know, a ship headed for disaster and everybody just jump and ship. That's what I see if these policies go through. Who would want to be invo invested in our stock market? You have to pay gains without even declaring your gain yet? Isn't that the reason you hold a company? So that you can hold it there over a year and not have to pay capital gains and own a position in that company? But you want to pay taxes on the position within the company before you even declared those gains from that company? Paying gains on gains that aren't even there yet? That's really your idea, Janet Yellen? so wrong. It's so wrong. It's an attack on our individual sovereignty and it's a very sad thing. Um, I can't say it any more clear than that. That's the video. That is everything I wanted to talk about. Do I think it could attack Bitcoin? Do I think it could damage Bitcoin? Maybe in the near term. There's also false news that went out along the lines that there was a double transaction that didn't happen. So it was just false news at the same time that this yelling information came out. I needed a few days to really wrap my mind around the situation before I dropped a video on it. But the more I think about it, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable the things that she said. To think that, I mean, I'll just be repeating myself, but to, but to think inflation is not going up after printing gold's entire market cap in one year. And then talking about dropping a $2,000 stimulus after the $600 one. It, what? What? All right. Thank you all so much for watching. If this is a video that resonates with you and you want to see, get it to see more people, um, I said it in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to remind you, just maybe it, it didn't have valuable information yet, but if you watch the video all the way through and you found some information valuable, please do take it out on that like button. Really, really does help this video be seen by more people. And that is the ultimate goal here is to spread a good message out there. Thank you all so much for being part of this community. If you want to be part of this community, it is absolutely 100% free to click that subscribe button down below. And if you click the bell afterwards, you'll be notified of all future videos on this channel. Really would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm a small YouTube channel, but I really, really value this community. I've been going live a lot lately and being able to talk with you all in the live streams has been eye-opening for me, eye-opening for a lot of people in the live stream. So we're going to do that probably once a week in the future. We'd love to have you in this community. Again, it is free to click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here. See you at the next video. Signing out.